Oh yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, in the Kubali. Ah, Karim Sana, Karim Sana. Nimi tabo zuri sometimes zina eta issues kidogo, but inajio kumbwa tu najia da for fasting, so rikona jeru kure ta issues kidogo. But we are here now. Ah, Narube Karim Sana, someone prospect. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Nims Joyce Gidui Karim Sana. Tag your friend Mambi Akujo. We are starting now. Uh, to allow about fasting prayer I'm like on Monday. I'm grieving God. People be delivered. People be healed. Families will be restored. Biashara zinafunguka. Mabu wamekusubwa for so long. Baba na ondoa. In the name of Allah, Jesus Christ. So, Mahari Popoto Ripo, you cannot afford to miss tonight's section, by the way. It is part one. Kwanzia today, part one. Monday, part two. Tuesday, part three. Then Wednesday, part four. So ni ni at least ni mahubiri ya, ya na section kada ya na part one today Monday part two Tuesday part three Wednesday part four so don't miss this one tag your friend uh, help me to share uh, bia mwenza kwa karibu sana wacha tu barikiwe as we understand pray and fasting believe God Yakoba next week as you pray that business will no longer be the same again that family will no longer be the same again maisha yako ya kiroho hata karama za roho mtakatifu zinafunguka hata maisha yako ya kifedha yanafunguka zile bondage zimekukalia zina disappear in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ so get ready tonight Waka tunanzia haya mahubiri uh, na tunabariki waka bisa. So, miembi uko maha, wapi uh, mkona nani hapo? Uh, uh, five, five, three to five minutes as we start this one. Manake, this one is very important. I don't want you to miss this. Atuja ikuwa na fasting corporate. This is the first one kwa Facebook Live. Kwa hivyo tegea hapa nisikize wacha tuwelewe kile mbato babu inasema tag your friend help me to share. Alika mwenza kwa mbae haja fika. Mwambie tumeenza mafudishu ya pray and fasting. About tunanza kuanzia Monday. Kuanzia Monday. He's only tomorrow. Kuanzia Monday. And I tell you, your life will never be the same again. Your life will never be the same. I promise you. I, pro I know. I've seen it working. I've been fasting. And I'm going to go to And I'll prove to you, Bibiri Kari. You come behind my boat. And I'll give you movie. Thank you. In mine, Karibu Sana. Rusi and Duta Karibu Sana. Thank you. What about me? Share. Mims Wakibe. God bless you. Ita Mora. Yunis Matari. Ode me share. Mary Kamani. God bless you. Now, I'm going to go to the world. I'm going to go to the world. favor. God bless you. Uh, if I'm going share, share tonight. Creator what party to know about very important issues up about prayer and fasting. We are starting this one on Monday. On Monday. Evangelist, God bless you. Pray to George, God bless you. On Monday, we are starting this prayer and fasting. Three days. Three days. Helen Lee Karibu Sana. Naraka ya remobu na mine Jehovah God. Just take a pick a paper there. Pen them down. And be catch your choto na mine Jehovah God. As we pray and fast for these three days. Kile ambacho na mine Jehovah God. Opuchikuwa karatasi. Andika. Ambie Jehovah God Father. Na mine kwa mahaya mabu watatenge. Na mine mabu watatenge right now. Ibrahim Watire. Karibu sana. Mary. Karibu sana. Ben Kim. Karibu sana. Niambi uko wapi na nitege uko wapi. And gati ya God bless you from Meru. Uh, watu wadhika wa korokt kabisa Shiro waruru karibu sana Noni from Manchester Welcome Welcome Niambi uko wapi mtoto wa Yesu God bless you God bless you Maina So tagu watu kada Watch it understand about prayer and fasting Maneke starting from Monday Don't miss this one On Monday Tuesday and Wednesday We're going to have a time of prayer and fasting mm. uh, Then after that on Wednesday, we are going to climax our fasting with the Holy Communion. Holy Communion. Not only that, ayo makratasi umeandika mahitaji. Ah, tutaya umbea. I'm going to anoint the mahali ya lipo. We're going to do it by faith. Tutaya umbea hayo makaratasi. A mahali unaandika hitaji lako. Whether ni buwanako na muamini ya kazi. Whether unahitaji mtumba. Whether unahitaji uorewe. Whether unahitaji kuwa. Aya mambo tunaminia Jehovah God. Ya andike mahali. Andike mahali. Kuanzia tomorrow ya andike. Manek on Monday. Tunaanza kuombea. Kida siku. Tutakuwa tunaombea. Tutaombea Monday. Tuombea Tuesday. Tuombea mpaka wen. Wednesday, tutakuwa tunayombea 
kila siku i'm believing this time round this time round hakuna ku miss hakuna diversion of your blessing lazima hiyo nyumba umalize kujenga lazima hiyo plot ununue lazima if ni mwili unakufinyilia ah lazima tuutoe kama sacrifice lazima tuufinyilie mm -hmm. that's it tabe karibu sana sara emri karibu sana justin waboy karibu sana Ah oh hivi hivi unaona kama unasema watu wa sosiono wako tunde kabisa ni tie marafiki wetu hapo <laughs> ah, so hakisha kwamba tunao tumetag watu watano tag watu watu watano hapo evangelist michael <laughs> karibu sana esther booth you are most welcome help me to share ita mtu ambaye anapenda sana kuomba if kuna mtu ambaye amesubiri na magojwa mapepo wamefinyiri your family mapepo wamefinyiri your father Your mother, your cousin, your uncle. Na unamwaminia kwamba baba atamfungua. We are going to have a time of prayer and fasting. Remember vile Jesus Christ alisema ya kwamba hizi pepo zinahitaji prayer and fasting. Kuna issues zingine zinahitaji kuomba na kufunga. Azuwezi ondoka unless uombe na ufunge. Unless uombe na ufunge. Sambo Dongo karibu sana. Joki Dongo karibu sana. Nims Masekwini karibu tag marafiki wako kwa 20. Wambiwa kuje. Pauline, karibu sana from US. Catherine from Nangata. Patricia Bogo, karibu sana, karibu sana, karibu sana. Stacey Noni, umeingia wakati na Faruse kagani, niti watu watu wa Sweden. Watu <laughs> said Sweden or oh. <laughs> oh, Greece. Watu wa Greece, niti watu wa Greece. Kuna watu wa Sweden wameingia. Leo Uh, watu wa Israel karibuni sana watu wa watu wa Saudi mko watu wa Lebanon na you here yes watu wa Germany mko watu UK nimeona hapo watu UK mko hapa don't miss this one by the way it is good hata mkia mmoja mfunge kama familia mnaweza mko mmoja mfunge na bwana yako is very important very important so ni muridi karibu sana Steven karibu sana imagine rugusi vaso karibu sana In fact ni VM hata ukiamini kama mfunga pamoja na watoto wako very important wacha funga mpaka na watoto wako imagine yes fungeni kama familia kuna mambo mnaminia Jehovah God this is a time wacha tuangalie vile babu anasema haya mambo wacha tuangalie manake it is good to pray and fast with the revelation and knowledge Hakuna kitu cha muhimu kama wakati sasa una knowledge ya kitu na una revelation ya kitu no you are praying and you are fasting with that knowledge. Ah. Uyo ni Uyo ni mtu anaitwa mtandao si. Ki serious. Hiyo ni jina ya mtu. Ati mtandao. Ni mimi anakana kwamba nimekosea. Wa Priscilla karibu sana, karibu sana. Usiye blessed, welcome, welcome. Ah. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, yes, at least masoko ni metag mtu mmoja. Hakisha kwamba umetag mtu right now. Na manake we are going to start this topic, a very important topic, a very very important topic. A creator watch party mm, share kwa those groups watch to understand prayer and fasting, very important. Uh, na naanzia this is part 1 this is part 1 this is part 1 on monday we are having part 2 tuesday we are having part 3 then wednesday we are climaxing with holy communion part 4 so it is a series it is a series kwa hivyo tukianzia siku ya leo it is a series it a continue it is a series it is a series kwa hivyo tunaendelea tunaanza part 1 Monday part 2 Tuesday part nige taka tu ufuatilie mpaka those parts mpaka part 4 then part 4 tumanzie na holy communion mahali pale ukiwa mahali uko tumalizie hivyo Jennifer Doha come it comes <laughs> thank you very sana kuna watu ambao wamefanya kazi ya ziada hapa uh, wameita marafiki At least let's pray for our marriages. So let's pray for our marriages. Marriages kuna issues. Kuna ota zingine zinazumbua ndoa. Kuna ota zingine zinakamata wa businesses. Kuna issues zingine zinakalia mpaka watoto wetu. We are fasting. Tunaombea mpaka watoto wetu, tunaombea mpaka bwana zetu, tunaombea mpaka maisha yetu. All these tafadhali mtobaye na jua shamga boro mahali ako. Tunaombea mpaka marriages. Boro tunaombea mpaka marriages kabisa. Eh. Hey. Watombo hata hawana watu lazima watapata watu. Uh, kare karibu sana washem. God bless you bypass. Esa wabuye nasema ako kabisa. So get ready now we are ready to go we are ready to go now we can pray. 
This is very important. This is very important. Nataka uaminie Jehovah God. Ya kwamba mahari uri, uripo right now. Ya kwamba kile ambacho unaaminia Father. Ah, I feel it. Lazima baba atatimiza. Rose Mwai, thank you Sony Heron. God bless you. Karibuni sana. Karibuni sana. Prayer and fasting. The power of prayer and fasting. We are doing it starting from this Monday. Tuesday and Wednesdays. Na we'll be doing it regularly. By the way, si kitu toko tu ifanya, tu tayi kuwa tu naifanya regularly. I'm going to show kwa nini ni mkomba tu fanya fasting this man. I'm going to show you the reason. Maneke, ni ya kwenyesha, it is in the Bible. I'm going to show you. Na utajua kwa mahata ukifunga na ukiomba. Utajua umuhimu wa kufunga na kuomba. Umuhimu wa kufunga na kuomba. Very important. Sofia wa irimo karibu sana. So get ready now, get ready now. We are going there, we are going there now. We are going there now. We are going there now in the name of Jesus. Yare mapepo mbo huwe nakamata anga. Leo tunayaweka chini ya migu yetu. Kira marohe ya naleta kuchanga nyikiwa tumia kata. Kira confusion zote za kipepo tumezikata. And we declare tonight, Father, as we study your word, may you reveal yourself to us, O God. Wata baba tuko kujue zaidi. Wata baba na norako baba lika ingie dani maishetu zaidi. Wata watu wako baba wakabadrisho na hiri na nobwana. Wata watu wako baba mungu wakainuliwe miuchizi katendeke kwa hao. And I declare baba, iyanga lazima itati. Hakuna wachai watafota hawa watu. Hakuna magojo baba ya tawadama from now. Letengaza baba Jehovah God, maneno watu baba meneno kinyume na biyashara zao. Maneno toba beneno kinyume Jehovah God na huduma zao. Hayana nguvu tena in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, O God. We declare for these four days. Tutakuwa tuna, oh, tu, tuna soma haya mambo. Tuko baba tunafunga. Tuko tu baba tunaomba. Mambo bo hawa watu atakuwa na kuminia fada. Tunamini kwa haya mambo lazima ya tatimia. Haya mambo lazima ya tatendeka. Haya mambo lazima ya tatimia. Mamba ya tatimia in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Wale mwana kuminia upo nyaya. Ajibaba, lazimo ponyaji utadhihirika Wale mwana mini promotion Wale mwana mini biyashara Wale mwana olewa ba wana mini doa Wale mwana suburua na mapepo Tuna mini ukombozu wa kima ajabu Fada, tunatengaza Kwamba umefungua mawazo yetu Usiku ole ufungua mawazo yetu Mwana fungua mawazo yetu Baba, tunane Tunane Jehovah God, fungua mawazo yetu Baba, fungua mawazo yetu Fungua mawazo yetu loho Fungua mawazo yetu, sema nasi Jehovah Tuatamani kusikia kutoka kwa ako. Tumatamani baba tusikia kutoka kwa ako. Tunane kwa dia kima jamu. Tunane kwa dia kimi ujiza. Tumetengaza maseta misa hawa nanguvu. Tumetengaza iluminati hawa nanguvu. Tumetengaza masonic hawa nanguvu. Wako chini ya migu yet father. We are reigning in life. We are reigning in life Jehovah God. We are reigning in life my father. Majabu ya natendeka Jehovah. Mi ujiza imetendeka father. We believe. Tunapuriskiza hiri neno. Makubwa ya natendeka tendeka. Makubo father ya natendeka. Thank you. Kwa lebo ledo wa meingia. Sana kwa lebo tazidi kuingia. Tunapulisoma hili na buwana. Wacha likatubadrishe. Katika jina la Yesu Christo. Tunabana hata kwa mini. Amen. And amen. And amen. So, nakaribisha kila mboja wenu kwa mafudisho ya siku leo. Tunapuangali about prayer and fasting. This is Part one, this is part one, and we having part two. We having part three, and we are having part four. So this is part one of the series Amazon in the. Now while I'm on my to forty eight, we to change as I come on here this Monday. We are starting our prayer and fasting. Niki marizi nta kumbi yako boko na ina za fasting. Ta kumbi aina kama ne if not five za fasting. Aina types kama ne or tano za fasting. Uh, I won't force you ile fasting utaenda. Maybe kwa sababu watu wanafanya kazi tofauti. But nitakupia hizo aina nne za fasting au tano. The fasting. Four or five. Nitakupia. Then utachagua ile we mwenye utachukua. Kuligana ile grace umepewa. Kwa sababu we are graced differently. We are graced differently. So utamuka mba unachukua fasting gani. After kuwerezea aina za fasting. Utatambua kwa bani gani we mwenye utachukua kwanzia mandi. Aina kama nne au tano za fasting nitakupea. I'm going to show you how to go about it. 
na kuna mambo bwana nataka tutaangalia ya fasting nataka hata kuko na mambo yako yale unaamini Jehovah God nataka kunywa mambo nitakwambia mahali hapa nataka tu declare prophetically ya kwamba kwa fasting haya mambo yatatimia there is a declaration we are going to make bila inasema kwamba declare a thing and it is going to be established so kuna haya mambo nitakupea tunaenda kuya declare na tunaamini kwamba yanaenda kutendeka kwa hivyo nataka unitegene unisikize sitakuwa na haraka leo maana nataka haya mambo uyaelewe vizuri sana yes na baba atatena ah uh, naona maruti anasema kwamba na testimony <laughs> yeye yeah, tu pia testimony hapo karibu sana you know kuna watu wengi sana wana testimonies there are so many people who are being wana testimonies na vyema sana andika tu testimony hapo nini at least watu watashuhudia kile ambacho baba ametenda There are so many people ambao wanamiujiza. Kuna wengine ambao wananipigia simu kwambia, kuniambia kwamba pasta nasema tu shukrani kwa kile ambacho baba ametenda. Let me tell you after and listen to this. After fasting, hiyo Wednesday the tukikula holy communion, kuna watu magojo yamewasumbua for so long yatadisappear. Kuna watu ambao tutadikeria mambo tu yanatendeka. Na before ni anze, it's good to declare this. Remember there is a story in the Bible before the answer about fasting the story of Elisha Elisha ukisoma Bible kuna time king of Aram alikuwa anapangia king of Israel anapanga kumfanya na kumua na kuleta vita na alikuwa anasema kwamba atakaa kwa ajili fulani mahali fulani ili king of Israel akipitia hapo ampige Bali yule sema namna gani nasema kwamba Elisha akiwa kwa nyumba yake alikuwa ananenoa na Mungu na anadirishwa kile ambacho maadui wanapanga na anatumania mfalme anambia mfalme ya kwamba king of Aram amepanga ukipitia mahali fulani atakuwa ya kwamba ataweka maskari mahali pale usipitie hiyo njia mini Elisha alikuwa anafunuruwa na Mungu akiwa kwa nyumba alikuwa na power revelation of what was taking place kile kilikuwa kinafanyika and remember mpaka king of Aram kauliza kwa ndiko kuna mtu mbaya ako kwenye upande wetu ambaye anaelezea maadui oh now is right aksema kile ambacho tunapanga but kuna mtu mmoja ambaye alisema hivi akwamba hapana kuna prophet ambaye kwa mahali pale anaitwa Elisha kile ambacho huo unapanga kwa nyumba yako kwa bedroom ukitamka yeye huwa nasikia na nie huwa anajurisha mfalme kwa hivyo that's why hauwezi kamata mfalme wa Israeli maneke anakuwa guided na prophet guided na prophet nisikize then bila sababu kwamba wakapanga wanasema kwamba wapeleleze wajue mahali Elisha anakaa na wakaelewa kwamba Elisha anakoa Dothan na wakasema kwamba wataenda pale ili wapate kumshika na wapate kumuua na wakatuma majeshi pale wakaenda kuzunguka mahali Elisha anakaa but in the morning bila sababu kwamba the servant The servant of Elisha akatokea na kaenda kuangalia kuna desh kubwa sana imezunguka imezunguka nyumba yao na akaogopa kauliza what we going to do Elisha hakuwa na uoga alipoenda na akaangalia mhm kuna kitu ambacho kinanijenga sana mimi nasema kwamba alipoenda na akaangalia what is happening in fact aliomba obi moja akambi to god jehovah god father fungua huyu mtumishi macho ili aone kwamba wale ambao wako kwenye upande wetu ni wengi kuliko watoboa kwenye upande wa maadui wetu just imagine and bible says after that prayer after that prayer ya prophet bible nasema kwamba the servant mwenyewe akafungulwa macho listen to this maneno this one is very important najua kwamba kuna watu ambao watafunguka macho ya kiroho yes I know kuna watu ambao watafunguka macho ya kiroho. Kuna watu ambao macho ya mioyo yao yatafunguka. I believe kuna watu ambao gift zao zitafunguka. I believe kuna watu ambao biashara zitafunguka. I believe kuna watu ambao doa zao zitafunguka after maombi ambayo tunaenda kuyaweka kuanzia Monday. So don't miss this one. This is important in Jesus name. So get your Bible as we start our topic of prayer and fasting. In the book of Matthew now. In the book of Matthew chapter number 6. Matthew chapter number 6. Matthew chapter number 6 and verse number 16. Matthew chapter number 6 and verse number 16. Mm, karosha karaba. The Bible says this, listen to this. When you fast, can you hear that? The Bible says when you fast. The Bible has same if you fast. No. Bible inasema kwamba when you fast. When you fast. 
Angalia, do not look soberly as thy hypocrisy do, for they disfigure their faces to show men they are fasting. I tell you the truth, okay? They have perceived their reward in full. Jesus Christ and their disciples, wakati mnafunga, musidio nyeshane koba mnafunga, kasa mukidio nyeshane koba, ninyo enyewe, mnafunga, Already my pocket, my repoeno. Mark that. Listen to this. Verse number seventeen is a key. Verse number seventeen is a key. Bina simukoba. But when you fast, when you fast, pour oil on your hand and wash your face. Okay, so that it will not be obvious to men that you are fasting. Mark that. Then mark the next verse. In a simukoba, but only to your Father, only to your father, who who is unseen, and your father who sees what is done in secret, we will reward you. We will reward you. Meaning, there is a reward after fasting. There is a reward. There is a reward. And mark that. There is a reward after fasting. There is a reward. There is a reward after fasting. And believe God, wakati unatangaza about fasting, kuna reward wakati umefunga. And I get to come here hapa. Ya kwamba it is good to understand what Kristo anafunga, but is still in the kingdom of darkness who are fast. Kuna maadui wanafunga ili maisha yako ifrisike. Kuna maadui wanafunga ili wewe mwenyewe usifanikiwe. Let me show you manake it is in the Bible. Let me show you because it is in the Bible. Hebu angalia na another verse. Hiyo tumeona kwamba Jesus Christ anaambia disciples wafunge maana kwa kifunga na ile je inafaa ya kwamba kuna reward wanapewa wakati wanafunga then angalia verse nyingine hapa I'm laying the foundation this is part 1 and in the book of act chapter number 23 act chapter number 23 act chapter number 23 and verse number 12 act chapter number 23 and verse number 12 Act chapter number 23 verse number 12 Act 23 verse number 12 the bible says the next morning the jews formed a conspiracy and bowed themselves with an oath imagine hao ni wayahudi wamejifunga na oath wamejifunga na oath angalia not to eat or drink until they had killed paul hao ni maadui wamekula kiapo ya kwamba hawatakula na hawatakunywa watakuwa nafunga kukula na kunywa <laughs> kukula na kunywa why to kill paul watomo wat, by the way if we say ongeno watomo kwa kwenye kido ya okot wanafunga ili wapewe level ya juu hata kwa kido ya shetani wanakosa kukula na kunywa imagine if watomo wa ufalme wa shetani wanakosa kukula na kunywa what about us ambao tuko in the kingdom in the kingdom in the kingdom of god so acts chapter number 23 verse number 12 inasema ya kwamba maadui jews ambao wana conspire wanakula wana kiapo wanasema hawatakula na uh, imagine listen to this with a not to eat or drink dry wa hata kunywa na hawatakula si waombe no wanakaa wakiwa hawajakula na hawatakunywa wakipanga kuua paul Mini kuna maadui even nowadays if they were planning to keep Paul even today kuna maadui ambao wanakosa kukula ili uishiwe ili biashara yako iishe let me tell you hawa watu hawajaisha if walikuweko time ya Paul even today wako kuna watu ambao hawafurahii ukiolewa kuna watu ambao hawafurahii wakati umejenga nyumba kuna watu ambao hawafurahii when you enjoying kile ambacho baba amekupea so hawa ni wayahudi wana conspire wanapanga na wanasema kwa bwana kula kiapo wanasema hawatakula na hawatakunywa imagine if madui wanakuwa dry wakipanga mambo mabaya what about us and we know our god what about us and we know our father what about us na tunajua mungu vile anatenda if wanafunga dry hawakunywe na hawakuri ili kuwa paul what about us I thank God wanafanya hivyo kujaribu kuattack mtu ambaye ameonetwa na Jehovah God mtu ambaye na yeye huwa yeye mwenyewe 
Ah, anafunga. Manake Pauli ku fast. Alikuwa na fast mara mingi. Ndivyo nasema. Alikuwa na fast often. Mara mingi sana alikuwa na funga. Manake mkristo. Anafuwa kuwa na funga mara mingi. Listen to this. Next verse verse number 19. More than 40 men. More than 40 men were involved in this plot. Imagine. What 40 see? 40 men. 40 men. Wana kosa kukura. Wana funga. Let me just call it that. Although on the other side is hunger strike. Wana funga. Wana fasting yao. Na siyo hivyo dry. Hakuna kukunyo maji. Hakuna kukura. Watu more than 40. Paka mba uwe Paul. Unafikiri na watu wangapo wanasema kuwamba. Lazima mtoto wako furisike. Unafikiri na watu wangapo wanasema lazima mbwana wako furisike. Unafikiri na watu wangapo wanasema kuwamba lazima uwe mwenye ushiwe. They are doing that. They are doing that. Imagine. Now follow me closely now. Angalia verse, next verse, verse number 14. The Bible says, They went to the chief priests and elders and said, We have taken a solemn oath. Wanaenda kwa hai priests and kwa elders. Wanasema viru wa mfanyo mekura kia po. Wanasema magani. We have taken a solemn oath not to eat anything until we have killed Paul. Wanataku wa Paul. Imagine. Then listen to this. Now then, you and the son had you petition the commander to bring him before you on the pretext of of the wanting more of wanting more accurate mark this now information about his case we are ready to kill him before he gets here so wakapanga wakasema kwamba mahali ako aletwe ili akiwa kwa jia before fika kwa case auliwe kwa barabara let me ask you let me ask you this peace free ni watu wangapi today wamerua kwa barabara ni watu wangapi wamepangiwa mipango na wamerua kwa barabara wako Tumesikia mtu wakingia kwa giti ya meruwa na madui. Tumesikia watu wabuwa kwa barabara. The walikuwa mepran kuwa pori kwa barabara. Anaenda kwa case. But before fike. Wame conspire. Wameenda kwa elders. Wameenda mpaka kwa high priests. Wame koso kukuna na kukunywa. Wanapanga ya kwamba auliwe kwa jia. Akija kwa jia. Kuna watu ambao wameuliwa mpaka kwa barabara. Watu wengi sana wameuliwa mpaka kwa biyashara zao. Wakina kufungua duka na uliwa pale. Kuna watu ambao wameendewa mpaka kwa nyumba. This is a plan of the enemy. And I want to declare it first in Tukunayo. Ya kwamba hakuna maadui watakueza in the name of Jesus Christ. Hakuna watoto wako watauliwa na maadui. Buanako hata uliwa na maadui. Wewe hauta uliwa na maadui in the name of Jesus if we come a panga kopoli, I'm a medical almost two that of the New Testament. What about us? See, kill a mutu and a kupanya mazuri, my sister. See, kill a mutu and a check and a yeah, I'm a kupiya ma coffee, temuna kona pesa. See, kill a mutu kiona koma doina si mama and a celebrate. No, kuna watu ambo na kupanya ma mamba ya kobarabara. Kuna watu ambo na kuazi ya koma afatari ukufa na au anguke na gari kobarabara. But I want to declare this: you are not going to die. Maneka koi fasi tu kona yo. We are stopping death. We are stopping any demonic premature death in the name of Jesus. If kuna mipango shetani ya mekupanga, lazima tuombe na tudikirea in mipango haita waitumia kwako. In Jesus name, mighty name. Kiri kina tumia kwako, it is the plan of Jehovah. That's how fasting, how serious fasting is. Manak, if madu wanafunga, what about us? If watumbu hawaja okoko wanafunga, kufanya mabwaya wa mambaya, what about us umiokoka? Meaning kufunga is not a debate. Kufunga ni tunafakutukua tunafunga mara mingi sana. Awa ni madui wanafunga. Wanapangana na watu. Wawo wamekula kiyapo. I know kuna watu wamekula viyapo. I know kuna watu wameto mpaka demonic sacrifices. But I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you. You are protected by God. That's why we are having a time of fasting. Mm. Kuna watu ambao wangekuwa mepoa promotion kazini Mara kuna watu ambao wanainuka pala anytime kuna promotion Wanasema kwa buso ipoa that promotion They are against your promotion This time round We are silencing them in the name of Jesus Christ This time round Oh my good God Listen to this Follow me now Bado hatuja anza I'm laying the foundation Naku kwenyeshe tukidogo Hmm Ha ha I know kuna watu wabuwa kwa mahali hapa. Unakuta mpaka mtu anataka kukupokonya mpaka bwana hako. Life life. Hajari. Mungu anataka kukupokonya mpaka bibi hako. 
na vile wako wengi huku si atafuta tu mmoja nataka kupokonya tu wako na unisikize so wamepanga hivyo wamesema kama hawatakula na hawatakunywa but listen to this mimi nasema but i like this ah la kona balana angalia verse number verse number 16 adrain verse number 16 adrain verse number 16 And the rain verse number 16 the bible says this but when the son of paul's sister so paul had a sister mark this paul had a sister na mtoto wa sister ya paul mungu alikuwa amemposition na mahali mimi sijui alikuwa wapi but mungu akamposition tu mahali ili askie ule mpango <laughs> i like this yule mtoto wa sister ya paul akasikia the prot he went into the barracks and told paul ah akaenda mpaka mahali paul alikuwa amefungwa na kada na kamwambia kwamba umepangiwa utauliwa yani mtoto wa sister ke paul akasikia prot can i tell you this bila uoga hakuna prot imepangwa kwako it has succeed in the name of jesus christ the god we serve at a expose kila mipango mibaya whether ni against your business whether ni against your life whether ni against your husband whether ni against at my share ko any demonic trap any demonic agenda i declare bila uoga itakuwa exposed in jesus mighty name mm. My 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 they thought wamepanga they thought wana ni siri kubwa sana imagine Philip James wakati walikuwa meketi wamesema kwamba watafunga kukura na kunywa dry wauwe pauri na wakaenda mpaka kwa orders wakati walikuwa wamepanga Mungu akahakikisha kwamba kuna katoto tuko dogo kuna mtoto kuna mtoto ah kuna mtoto wako hapo bora imagine mtoto amewekwa hapo Mungu ameposition mtoto wa sister ya Pauli. Askia Pauli akipangiwa. <laughs> na kenda mpaka pale kwa jera kwa barak. Mahari Pauli alikuwa amefungwa na kamuelezea <laughs> ya kwamba kuna watu wanakupangia uliwe tumoro. Wanapanga kwamba tumoro. Alikusema kana kwamba unapelekwa kwa kesi yako iendelee, but kwa barabara uliwe. So Mungu alikuwa ameposition mtu ambaye atexpose agenda zile mbaya. Let me declare hizi siku tatu za kufunga what I'm believing God. Zile agenda mbaya, zile plot mbaya, zile meeting mbaya za shetani za maadui zinapangwa against your life zitakuwa exposed in Jesus mighty name. The plan was exposed. Kuna mtoto ali expose the plan. That's how God works. Paul yakajule mpango amepangiwa kuuliwa the next day. Huyo mtoto akaenda akambia Paul. Maana hakuna siri unaweza pangia. Mtu ambaye remember Paul was a man of prayer and fasting. Paul was a man of prayer and fasting. So hawa nakosa kukura na kunywa, wanajaribu kuattack mtu ambaye anajua the power of prayer and fasting. And you cannot fight mtu ambaye anajua kuoba na kufunga. Siri zote zitakuwa exposed. Mm. Panga kufa na ajari hiyo siri itakuwa exposed. Sema kwamba kazi yake itaisha hiyo itakuwa exposed. Anybody who can hear my voice don't be afraid. Mm. Karisho gharama gani dogo ta. Nisikize, nisikize. Baba takisha kwamba thank you sister. God can use anything to expose them. Ah. <laughs> Wacha wapange ati kampuni yako itaisha. Wacha wapange kwamba college yako itaisha. Wacha wapange kwamba hautafanikiwa. They will be exposed. They will expose maneka they will attacking Paul, a man of grace, a man full of grace, a man full of the Holy Spirit, a man full of anointing, a vessel of Jehovah. They are planning to keep how can you keep Paul? Na kuna assignment na haja maliza kile ambacho maitiwa. They were exposed. <laughs> no one afunga to attack. I thank God for what happened. Bila sema kama Paul kile ambacho alifanya. Next verse kile ambacho alifanya. Alichukua yule kijana. Nisikize. Then Paul called one of the centurion said, "Take this young man to the commander. He has something to tell him." Mm. Kalalala. Mpeke mpeke kwa commander. Kuna kitu ambacho anataka kuambia commander. <laughs> Young man kuna kitu ambacho anataka kuambia commander. Imagine. Na akapelekwa kwa commander na centurion. Na wakati commander aliambiwa, akajua kwamba wanapanga kuua. Ah. 
shakora kaza bakenda kaza ka yako wakati kwa mandari sikia kwa madhara prime to keep all that same night <laughs> Paul alitolewa kwa that barak na kapelekwa Caesarea by the way akapelekwa another place so hao akija tomorrow kumtafuta already ameondolewa <laughs> Aka, by the way ukisoma kwa bible maskali walikuwa 200 soldiers walilinda Paul usiku awe transported from that place to another place akatolewa so watu wa Mungu wamejaribu kufunga more than 40 wanaume 40 kufunga come on na walikuwa wamefunga huo Paul waliaibika next day hata fasting yao haikuenda bari mm, walifunga wakaibika maneka wangeza kuwa Paul And aso ni message na that message niseme hivi hakuna mtu ambaye amepanga to destroy your life as long as you are man of prayer and fasting awatafauru in the name of Jesus Christ mark that very important very important ndaka niangalie nao wacha nisome hii verse and in the book of Luke chapter number 4 verse number 1 Luke chapter number 4 verse number 1 yes Nasema kwamba mlenga foundation is a series of be teaching about prayer and fasting from today to on Monday will be fasting on a Tuesday Wednesday to namaliza our fasting now <laughs> Anybody born and skis if kuna mipango mibaya ilikuwa imepangwa relax <laughs> relax be strong in the Lord hakuna mipango mibaya hakuna meeting za giza waza ziko usiku au mchana They are gathering to scatter in the name of Jesus. <laughs> my my my. Luke chapter number 4 verse number 1. Ah, Luke chapter number 4 verse number 1. Luke chapter number 4 verse number 1. Look at this. Bina sema kwamba Jesus full of the Holy Spirit. Can you see that? Jesus full of the Holy Spirit returned from Jordan. So Jesus Christ amebatizwa. Immediately after kubatizwa alienda kwa jangwa alibatizwa kajazwa na roho mtakatifu alipojazwa na roho mtakatifu roho mtakatifu inasema kwamba Jordan and was led by the spirit into the desert that holy spirit akawaongoza kwa jangwa magdad akawaongoza kwa jangwa where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil he ate nothing during those days and at the end of them he was hungry mag that so jesus christ alienda kwa jangwa na kwa jangwa alipelekwa na roho mtakatifu na kwa nini alikuwa anaenda kwa jangwa alikuwa anaenda kwa jangwa mag this and listen to this alienda kwa jangwa kufunga na kafunga for 40 days 40 days alifunga kwa jangwa but ukisoma hii verse the fasting of jesus was not a dry fast mm 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 It was not a dry fast. It was a wet fast. Manaka alikuwa na kunywa maji. Na sababu haisemi kwamba alikuwa na kiu. Alikuwa na jaa, anahisi jaa, but not kiu. Ndio sababu inasema kwamba hakuwa na kura. Bible inasema kwamba hakuwa na kunywa. No. Bible inasema kwamba hakuwa na kunywa. Hakuwa na kura si kunywa, mark that. Mimi Jesus Christ kwa jambo for 40 days alikuwa na kunywa, alikuwa na kunywa, but hakuwa na kura for 40 days for 40 days so amenda mahali pale for 40 days anakunywa maji na hakuna kukura for 40 days amejazwa na roho mtakatifu na kajaribua mahali pale then after kujaribu after that fasting na katoka kwa fasting angalia verse number 12 verse number 12 verse number 12 angalia verse number 12 bina sema namna gani Jesus answered it says do not put the lord your god to test when the devil had finished all this tempting he left him until an opportune time now mark verse number 14 and adarain verse number 14 adarain verse number 14 the bible says Jesus returned to Galilee in the power of the holy spirit mark that so wakati alikuwa anaenda kwa jangwa kufunga alikuwa full of the holy spirit But wakati alikuwa ametoka kwa jangwa after fasting hakuwa tu amejawa tu na roho mtakatifu a a mimi nasema nisikize mimi nasema kwa return to God in the power of the holy spirit in the power of the holy spirit meaning in the fast ilifanya power in manifest kwa Jesus 
Aliingia tu kuwa mejazo bali alitoka kuwa na power. So watuombona ya fast. How toki kwa fasting vile uliingia unatoka na power. Kalola zita kaiva. Mm. Ato kingo kwa na roho mtakatifu unatoka na power. And I declare anybody who can hear my voice. Anybody who can hear my voice. Mark that. Anybody who can hear my voice. Anybody who can hear my voice. Ukitoka after fasting and declare this. How to talk the same. How to talk with the power of God. With the power of God. But I have seen it. I've seen it. Niseenda kwa msitu kufunga. Niseenda kwa kitaka. Na iti every time unatoka pale kufunga. Unatoka tofaudi sana. Unatoka na pa. Ali ingia kiwa na rohamta gadifu. But verse 14. Ali toka na power. Meaning ukifunga. Kala la la la. Unatoka na power. Kuna watu mbo utatoka na power. Kiri ambato wangeza kufanya. Wanafanya. Jesus Christ. Before I start ministry. Nisikize. Ali funga. Alibatizwa, alafu akaenda kufunga before I start ministry. So akawa empowered for the ministry. So ni vyema sana hata kufunga when you are doing your business. Before uanze hiyo duka, ni vyema sana hata kufunga. Before hiyo salon, uianze ni vyema kufunga. Anza hiyo na power. Uh, anza na power, enda na power of God. Ah. Can I tell you this? Listen to this. Listen to this. Manaka, this one is very interesting. Don't miss this one. Ali toka na power. Na mine kubo kuna watu mwana nisikizo right now. May God empower you. May you operate with the power of God. I say may you operate with the power of God now. May you operate with the power. Pokea nguvu in Jesus name. Chochoto nafanya, let the power of God rest upon your life. So, angalia tena that look now. <laughs> angalia tena look. Angalia in there, that verse. Look, chapter number 4, yu tumesoma. And verse number 14, let me, let me, let me surprise you. Let me surprise you. Manaka, this one is very interesting. Angalia vida babu nasema, chapter number 4, verse number 13, bina sema na mna gani? Ha, ha, ha. Uh, binasema komba alitoka akiwa na power the word power there is dunamis 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 power for performing miracles dunamis is power for performing miracles dunamis power for performing miracles let me let, let me just do it like this Power for performing miracles. That's dunamis. Power for performing miracles. Mm. Shh, nisikize, what is dunamis? It is a power and influence which belong to riches and wealth. Listen to this. Dunamis is what? It is a power and influence. An influence which belong to riches and wealth. So dunamis ni power in a kupea influence. Una attract riches and wealth. Mako rakaraba. So dunamis is not just like that. So I took a party after fasting. Akiwa na power dunamis. Dunamis ni what? Ni power ya kuperform miracles. That's the number one. Number two, ni power ya influence. Ya riches and wealth. Ah. Ah. Jeka raza ramo koze shimilavanda. Mm. And I declare in Jesus' might, may you operate with the dunamis in Jesus' might name. Riches and wealth. Power in a kupe influence. I like it. Dunamis is abundance. Is what? Abundance. Very important. Abundance. Very, very important. So that's why Jesus Christ, wakati alitoka kwa fasting now. Alipawa, alitoka na dunamis. Dunamis. Miraculous power. Na power ya kuinfluence. Ima hali unayenda unainfluence. Ina hali unayenda unainfluence. 
Una attract riches and wealth. Because dunamis in upside to attract riches and wealth. Come on. Dunamis in upside to attract riches and wealth. Mm. Kalo shakara mamaza. Get ready. We are going to pray and fast. I'm just setting foundation. And I know. Nitu kupia leo nataka tu nikupe benefit ambazo na mimi nikoba tukiendelea ku, kuomba na ku na, na, na kufunga na mimi nikoba kuna mambo ambayo yatataneka I'm believing God for that but before tukuja hapa tu nikusomea one verse alafu nikuonyesha kwamba mambo ambayo na believe God yatataneka haya ni mambo ambayo personally believe God yatataneka kwetu si suote Sisi wote I know kuna mambo ambayo na mimi ni Jehovah God anifia sana yaandike mahali. But I believe kuna mambo ambayo yako hapa yatatendeka kwako after prayer and fasting. But before that kuna hivi sasa nataka nikusomee ili sana nikupe mambo 10 na mawili na mimi kwamba yatatendeka kwako. Angalia in the book of Mark chapter number 2. Angalia Mark the book of Mark chapter number 2. Praise God. May you receive dunamis. Ah influence Kwa kampuni una influence. Kwa biashara yako una influence. Umepewa dunamis. Una influence. Una attract riches and wealth. Una attract. Ah! Kaisha kala ba. Runo kumba utajiri kwanza. Kwanza unu juu kumba kitajiri ka utajiri na kupea influence. Sini upea story ya kijana bayo likuwa na wisdom. Na kasaidia city. Aka deliver city from a king ambayo likuwa na kujo kudestroy that, that city. With wisdom aka destroy it. Ah, akas idea could deliver that city from destruction and that king. Because someone likuwa na wisdom that guy. But this mukom akuna mtu mbaya mukubuka koma na likuwa maskini. Maneka na koma gakuwa na pesa gakubuka. Maneka pesa zina influence yake. Na bini sa mukom ba dunamis ina kupi influence. You attract riches and wealth. Dunamis. You attract riches and wealth. Can I tell you this? And I believe this anointing in a temple. Let, let me surprise you. Let me go to skin on it again. Happen. The Bible says Lucifer was cut out of heaven. Lucifer was cut out of heaven. The Bible says Makomba he was an anointed cherub. He was an anointed cherub. I call it cherub. When I do cherub, ni moja cherubim ni wengi. I am is a plural form. So cherub, there were angels. Our Lord called a God. Vile sema kwamba Lucifer in heaven alikuwa ni kati wala malaika ambao anaitwa cherubim. So alikuwa ni kati wala malaika anaitwa cherubim. So anaitwa cherub. Alikuwa ni kati ya wala malaika ni wa cherubim, malaika in heaven. And by Moses says he was anointed. He was anointed. Lucifer in heaven was anointed. And that word anointing there or anointed there is mimishak. 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 So ili anoint ilikuwa upon Lucifer in heaven. Ilikuwa ni anointing inaitwa Mimishak in Hebrew. Mimishak. Mimishak let me say oh my good god. Ah. Angalivas, angalivas. Angalivas. Nataka unifuate angalivas, angalivas. The Bible is sweet. Anytime we study Bible, you enjoy reading the word of God. You enjoy reading the word of God. Look at this. Manek ina di jenga. Na ha ha. Show bagarize kete balando bozota. Angali Ezekiel chapter number. Ezekiel chapter number 28. Ezekiel chapter number 28. Are you there? Verse number. Can you just somebody post for us? Verse number 14. Ezekiel 28 verse number 14. Ezekiel 28 verse number 14. Ezekiel 28 verse number 14. Ezekiel 28. Yes. Thank you. Felix Boro. Felix Mwash. You were anointed cherub who covers. Can you read that again, please? Can you read it for yourself again? One, two, three. Read it for yourself. One, two, three. Ezekiel 28, verse number 14. Lucifer in heaven. Aliku anointed in heaven. Le karishu baba. So much in that verse. Just read it for yourself. Look at it. Mm, I like it. I like it. Anataka kufungwa kwa na yangu hapa. Don't miss that one. 28. 28, verse number 14. 28 verse number 14. Ha ha ha. Ah, covereth. Who shakili buziti karimu zata. Ah, angalia. Anointed. Anointed. The word anointed there is mimishak. M-I-M. S-H-A-C-H. Mimishak. 
Me Mishak. Me Mishak. The word anointed there is me Mishak. Angali, if you have Tafadari, you are uh, my sword Bible. My sword Bible. Angali kwenye that stronghold. Strong concordance. Okay, angali apalo ki click. Just ku click pal. Iko pali miandikwa. That word me Mishak, the anointed is me Mishak. The word me Mishak there means what? Anointed to expand. To out spread. So ili anointing alikuwa mepewa, ni anointing ya kuexpand. Ni anointing ya kuspread. Ni anointing ya ku influence. Meaning, that's why in heaven, Lucifer, aliweza ku influence one third of angels. Manak alikuwa anoint, anointing ambayo ilikuwa juu yake ni ya kuexpand. So any way I end and influence, that's why I influence mpaka angels in heaven. Manak alikuwa na mafuti ya ku influence. Mimi shaka is anointing to expand. Lima foot ya kuexpand alikuwa nayo. So mini in heaven alikuwa me anoint to expand na spread. Galo shalama gandi vosa. Meaning <laughs> Jesus. Hey. I declare tonight in Jesus mighty name as we are fasting not only dunamis, but may you enjoy Mimi Shak anointing. If Lucifer in heaven, I go me pack him a footer, I expand na influence. Ah, na spread. I declare after this fasting, may you operate with Mimi Shak. Mimi Shak for your business. Mimi Shak for your marriage. Anointing ya ku expand na ku influence. Mahalu na ingio na expand. Maneke, you anointed to expand. May you receive Mimi Shaka right now. May you expand. May your business expand. May you expand key ideas. May you expand in wisdom. So that's why I was a queen friends. Because I'm anointing Yaki Kony a queen friends. That's why Sayer Kuja now happened, but it corrupted now. Ujoko Bako anointed, but Say Yuma Fute corrupted. I kumbaya. And as soon as you come back, you influence. Because I'm going to have to say, I'm going to have to say, I'm going to But in heaven, I'm going to power that anointing. If I'm going to power in heaven, I expand. That one is your portion. I say that one is your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say that one is your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ. I say that one is your portion. May you expand. Ah, I. Ooh. Ooh. Iyo mafuta bado wako nao, but ni corrupted na sai. Nasu mpaka wala na influence watu. Ukiwa na mimi shaka noiti, unafungwa kampuni moja na ingine na ingine. Ukuwa na mimi shaka noiti, unafungwa mola hapa, mola pale. Mm. Ukuwa na mimi shaka... Ay. <laughs> Are you getting what I'm saying? Mimi shaka noiti. Listen to this. I believe this is... This is it. <laughs> ah, that's after anointing, anakava. Kuna hili ya yake anainfluence ye mwenyele. Because of that anointing. That's why Jesus Christ. Time warifunga ni toka na power. Dunamis. Ya ku influence riches and wealth. Tumiangali again. Again. Soma hapo. Soma hapo. Alikuwa mea nitu as a guardian terub. This anointing. Okay. Look at this. Look at this. Angalia. Kidogo tu. Angalia Psalms 23. Epo Angalia Psalms 23. Kidogo tu nkwenyesha kitu kikwa pare. A very interesting verse. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Lakozi bilakando bokozi. Biesu milvata. Ha ha ha. 23. Angalia. Don't miss this one now. Don't miss this one now. Angalia. Psalms 23. Look at this. Don't miss this one. Verse 5. Verse 5. Angalia, eh? Psalms 23, verse 5. Mmm. 
<laughs> Philip James that it. Mimi shaka nwenti una expand, una spread, una influence kila mtu. Watu wanafika kwako wanafikiria kwa bonde na kwa uganga. Kumbe ni mimi shaka nwenti. Angalia hivi basi. Nataka unitegee hapa angalia Psalms 23 verse 5. Na Bible says you prepare a table before me. Okay. In the presence of my enemies. Francisca, can you hear this? Okay, then the Bible says this. You anoint my head with oil. You anoint my head with oil. Can you see anointing? You anoint my head with oil. Next verse. My cup overflows. So which comes first? After anointing, your cup overflows. But there is no way you can operate with the anointing of God. Na kapu yako ikose ku overflow. Your cup overflows. After anointing. Unatia kitu wa tangu mafuta. Kikombe tangu ta Afrika. Kikombe kina Afrika after anointing. Meneke after anointing there is an expression. Lazima kuwa na kufurika. Kikombe tako your business. Kikombe tako razima kifurike. Kina Afrika after anointing comes fat. Then after flowing. Una anoint my hand with oil. Then my cup of mushakat. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. I don't know whether you're getting what I'm saying. I don't know whether you're what I'm saying. I don't know. It is after anointing, kikombe kina overflow. After anointing. But the way, tomorrow kwa ibada, I'll be teaching the principles of way of the transfer. Tomorrow. I'll be teaching the principles of way of the transfer. Nine principles of way of the transfer. Tomorrow, I'll be teaching about way of the transfer. So after, yes, yes, after the anointing, kikombe tako lazima kifurike, you operate with overflow after anointing. And that's why I'm believing God after a fasting. Kalela lo zilakanda. Kuna watomo baba ta anoint. Vikombe vio vito overflow. Area oya ya kori ina overflow. After anointing. And that's your anointing too. Mimi shaka anointing. Do not miss. Shalalaloza kalabosha ma. May God anoint your family line. May God anoint that business. May God anoint your marriage. Manek, after anointing that cup in overflow. That's it. So anointing comes first, then overflow. Anointing comes first, then overflow. Not overflow, then anointing. It is anointing first, then overflow. That's, that's why I Lucifer and expand after anointing. Jesus after fasting, dunamis, power, and influence wealth. This is your portion after this time of prayer and fasting. Are we together now? I have not started. I'm only laying a foundation. I'm laying a foundation. Let me surprise you now. Listen to this. I'm going to mark two. Before you compare my book, I'm going now. Mark two. Mark chapter number two. Mark chapter number two. <laughs> Mark chapter number two. Yes. Mark chapter number two. Mark chapter number two. Listen to this now. Okay. Verse 18. Mark 2 verse 18. I wish in a part of the more. When I say my pastor, he anointing. Do not miss. He mimi shak. He. Now, but it now, after this fasting. Kwanza to kimaliza na holy communion. Pap. To kimaliza na meza bwano. Pak. Woo. Hey, hey, hey. Shira kanda. Mark 2 verse 18. Aha. The Bible says this. Now John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting. Some people came and asked Jesus, How is it that John's disciples and the disciples of Pharisees are fasting, but you as are not? Imagine now. John's disciples and Pharisees were fasting. Some people were Jesus. 
Wakamuliza, bona disciples wa John na disciples wa Pharisees wana fast. Bona kina pita hatujaona wakifunga. <laughs> this what Jesus Christ ambaye ulizwa. Alafu angalia mimi nilijibu nilisema namna gani? Verse number 18. Jesus answered, How can the guests of the bridegroom fast while he is with them? Eh, wageni wa biarusi wageni wa wa, wa bwana harusi mahali pale hakuna there is no way bwana harusi there is no way wageni wa bwana harusi wanaweza funga as long as bwana harusi yako akiwa hawezi funga so walikuwa nasema namna gani jesus christ hmm kafuri tu kuna dazit that's it. Sa, nataka ni change mind ya watu ili ukifunga unaelewa kile ambacho kimeandikwa kwa Bible. That's when my Satan this one. Ili sasa ukianza kwa sababu tutapatana mandi. Na mada ile tuko tume start fasting ili unaelewa kile ambacho unatarajia wakati unaendelea kufunga. That's when mezia kusema kwamba nakupea mambo 10 na mawili. I believe yataonekana kwako. That's it. I believe yataonekana kwako. That's it. Ukada la 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 la. Mambo kumi na bila afu nikupe aina za kufunga ili uchague ile ambayo utafunga we mwenyewe. Utagua ni gani utafunga? Kuanzia Monday. Tandela part 2 on Monday. So angalia. There is no way again ambao ameitwa na bwana harusi unaweza funga bwana harusi akiwa. So bwana harusi pale is a picture of Jesus Christ. As long as are called disciples. Disciples are always fungo kwa na Jesus hapo. Angalia bila anasema they cannot so long as they have him with them. But verse number 20. But the time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them. And on that day they will fast. Time we nafika waka now Jesus Christ at end of heaven. The time atatoka now physically hata kuwa pomoja na wao. Waka now at end of heaven now. They will fast. And that's why after resurrection of Jesus Disciples warianza kufunga. Disciples warianza kufunga kukuna na kunyo. Manake, Jesus Christ ameenda heaven. Bridegroom ameenda. Now they can pray and they can fast. But as long as we na Jesus hapo, hawange funga na hawange fanya vile sasa. Baidi wa hata kuomba kuwa kulikuwa nitini sana. Manake hata kuomba wako na joku omba. Warifundisho kuomba. Hili ya umbu ya baba yetu, hili ya bigundi. Warifundisho manake hawako na joku omba. Until the time Holy Spirit alikuja ndani yao na juu yao. <laughs> Kaanza kufundisha kuomba. Wako wanaomba mamba yetu ile balisti wa mepenya ala haya levo. Ya kuomba mpaka na demi. Pray in spirit. Ile temu alifundisha our father. Temu hawa kuwa najua kuomba. Matemu sasa Holy Spirit alikuja juu yao na ndani yao. Haka wafundisha kuomba. That's why now we are supposed to fast. Kwa mana bread groom amenda. Hatuna, hatuko na ya physical here. Disciples walikuwa na Jesus there. That's how wange funga. But when you mokoba time inakuja, atatukuru wa tena. That time wata fast. So after resurrection, Jesus Christ akana kind of heaven. Now waka funguri wa wanza kuomba. Na kufunga. That's why ata nasi, tunaomba na tunafunga. Kwa mana lienda. Physically hatuna ye. Ha, listen to this. But time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them and on that day they will fast. Mark that. And get the next verse. No one shows a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment. If he does, the new piece will pull away the old and making the tear worse. Now mark the next verse. And no one pours new wine into all the wine skin. Remember, in fasting, and explain about fasting, but I'm going to connect fasting na new wine skin, na new wine. <laughs> I can say, but there is no way new wine. There is no way new wine in the old wine skin. It's a haribu. I say, but new wine. New wine. I say, but new wine. New wine skin. After kuokoka, you are the new wine skin. Ooh. After kuokoka, you are the new wine skin. 
Na any time now you pray and fast. Could a manifestation of your new wine in you. Ha 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 ha. And that's why I believe you come, there's an anointing in a man's face. Wakati watu wanafunga. Wanaomba. There is new wine skin. Inaweko kwa new. New wine inaweko kwa new wine skin. Connection ya na fasting. Remember the topic in the fasting and I explain. Na kai connect na new wine. Na new wine skin. Manaki after cross. Disciples wanakuwa new wine skin. Kunaweko wa new wine. That's why ni onyesho watomo hawajui kufunga na kuomba. Ni onyesho watomo kuna leva hawata waifika. Hawata waifika. That's it. Ni onyesho watomo wanaomba na kufunga. Ni onyesho kuma kuna revu utena juu sana. Watomo na juu kuomba na kufunga. Kuna pepo zingine zina munda kutuwa nazo. Zina pita tuko barabara. Zina kuangalia tu hivi. Sabu zina juu yungu tuwa chana ye. Unanuka maombi. Unanuka <laughs> remember in the remember in the word of the spirit mombi na recognition of incense incense of vumba so unanuka tu maombi manake you are man and woman of prayer umezoea ah <laughs> umezoea kufunga na kuomba so nataka e fasting tunafung tuko nayo astaki uchukulie ni kama tukawe na vile umezoea kufunga na kuomba no Hii lazima italeta impact kwako. Lazima italeta change kwako. Lazima ifuni mwili unakuhusu mwili. Lazima tutauua, I tell you. Umwili tutausacrifice huyu. Umwili hapa. Hey, hey, hey. Ai, umwili hizo tamaa tunazi, tunaziweka kwa cross. Mm. Utakuwa unaona wadada hivyo, if out <laughs> If out skiza topic ambayo nilifurisha jana. Ten commandments za marriage. Au oh, niko na fundisha za marriage za wanaume. Na nikakuzia commandment moja ya mwanaume. Tosheka na kuona tu bibi yako. Wacha kuwa na tazama tazama bibi wenyewe tu hivyo. Eh? Na tuona kwa vile job vile job alisema, akaomba umefanya agano na mate wake, hataki kuona usana wa wenyewe. Imagine. So tuna tunaiweka kwa cross. I mwili. That's why Ah. Shakara. So get ready now. Haka nikuonyesha kwamba mambo 10 na mawili na mimi nakuomba yatatendeka. Na unitegea maana kitu ambacho nimekimbiza na lazima haya mambo uyaelewe. Maana ni muhimu sana. Ni muhimu sana. Alafu nikwambie aina aina nne za fasting. Ili uchague ile ambayo utafunga kuanzia Monday ni gani utachagua? Wewe di utachagua. Mimi sitaki nikuchaguri usini nimekoba pasta. Mimi sikuweza hiyo kwa sababu ni walichoka. Ah ah, mimi nataka wewe mwenye ujitagulie ni gani unapenda. Wewe mwenye uchagua ni gani? So that's why inataka tu na time. Atuje tumeanza mafundisho kuanzia March. Bara tuje kuwa na time ya kufunga na kuomba. Na tuko tunafanya haya mambo regularly. That's it. Are we together? So now get rid now. Tako jiadani kupia mabu katha. So it's good to understand that in the Bible, we have what we call individual uh, fasting. But still in the Bible, we have what we call corporate fasting. Kuna corporate fasting. Kuna ina fasting, muna fasti mkua watu wengi. Muna fasti mkua watu wengi sana. Kuna verses mingi sana nitakujo kumpia badaye. Zina shiria kuomba kuna watu nafungo wakiwa wengi. Watu wanafunga wakua wengi. Kuna corporate fasting. Watu wanafunga wakiwa wengi. Haya. But nataku nitege. Nukwenyeshe mabo kumi na mawili ya mwana mini ya kwa ba inatendeka after this fasting. Get rid now. Mabo kumi na wili na mini ya kwa ba inatendeka after this fasting. Mabo kumi na wili na mini ya kwa ba inatendeka after this fasting. Get ready for this. Lago chukwe karamu na karatasi if hauja chukua. Na ujiandai wadika ya mabu kumi na mawini na mini ya koba ya natendeka kwetu. Ya natendeka kwetu now. I brief 13 of them. 13 of them. Very, very important. 13 of them. Na mini ya koma na zima baba ya timize now. 13 of them. 13 of them. Look at this now. 
So angalie kwa Bible, angalie kwa Bible. Isaiah 58, nisikize nao. <coughs> Tayo ndo pale Isaiah 58, nataka unitegee kwa sababu nataka kuingia kwa udani kwa sababu uh, kuna time kuna fundisha hapo but si kuingia kwa udani sana. But nataka niingie mahali hapa. Angalia Isaiah chapter number 58. Isaiah chapter number 58 Isaiah chapter number 58 Mm okay 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 Look at this Angalia Bible Isaiah chapter number 58 Ah ha ha Let me start from verse number 1 Verse number one. The Bible says, shout it aloud. Do not hold back. Raise your voice like a trumpet. Declare to my people their rebellion. And to the house of Jacob their sins. For, for day after day they seek me out. They seem eager to know my ways. As if they were a nation that does what is right. And has not forsaken the commands of its God. They ask me for just, just decisions and seem eager for God to come near them. Verse number three. Nataka unisikize kwazia verse number three is a key. Verse number three is a key. Where have we fasted, they said, and have not seen it? Where have we fasted, they say, and have not seen it? Where have we humbled ourselves and have not noticed? So now be a God. Ni kusoma na soma, alafu ni yeleze. Unajua ni kusoma na soma. Alafu after kusoma ni ni ku ni analyze mambo 12. So ni kusoma tu na soma alafu ni analyze mambo 12 eh. Kwa hivyo si ati sija nini. Unaambia pasa ati umekimbia sana. Siwezi kimbia unajua kwamba ni muhimu sana. Na haya mambo nataka uyalewe ni muhimu sana. So siwezi kimbia hapa. Get this now. Ati Mungu anasema I'm I know kuna watu bora ulize hapa so baba mbumu ulize ifunga na nimefunga sana how day ni jibu. Angalia vile Mungu anasema anasema namna gani? Wanauliza maswali wanaisema wanauliza why why have we fasted they say and you have not seen it wanauliza Mungu bwana Mungu tumefunga na hujaona mimi unaweza funga Mungu akosa kuona there is a fast and unaweza funga Mungu akosa ku notice umefunga 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 Mungu akosa ku notice but on Monday don't miss man on Monday believe on Monday nitaka kuonyesha mababu na hida prayers i will show you mababu na hida prayers maana ke lazima tunde haya mambo ili tuondoe kwa sababu kuna mambo naezaomba ya hide prayers on Monday nitakuonyesha mambo bwana hida maombi ili wakati tunaendelea kuomba uwele ni mambo gani huwa yanahida maombi there are things that he does prayers nitakuonyesha ni mambo gani on Monday on Monday so wanafunga wanaweza Mungu why tunafunga Mungu na how notice tumefunga mimi kuna fast unaweza fast Mungu akosa ku notice na ume fast 20 days or that na Mungu haoni kana kwa ume fast Majir. That's what the Bible says here wanafanya. Wanauliza Mungu bwana tumefunga na uja notice. Why have you heard how about our seven you have not noticed? Angalia. Yet on the day of your fasting you do as you please and exploit all your workers. Majir. Mungu sema kwamba mnafunga but mnafinyilia watu. So many kuna kuna vile unaweza funga but huwa kuna mambo unafanya hiyo fasting kosa kufanya kazi. That's it. Imagine. Mungu anawaambia hivi, angalia vile anawaambia yet on the day of your fasting, you do as you please. Maana time umefunga. Kuna mambo unajua kwamba that's it unasema kwa ifumeolewa na umeoa, eh? Ogeni. Muskizane those three days, eh? Wacheni tuende fast area zote. And the fast area zote. Is bina sema kama only time time ya maombi mambo mengine hayafai kuwa nini kubalieneni mwambie mwambie kwamba nataka nataka bwana wangu nataka kufunga ha na 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 sasa kwanza for this three days ni ruhusu i'll be back after three i'll be back after three days but now for this three days just allow me you get what i'm saying eh <laughs> Hiyo ni wala mbao wameona wameolewa ile wala mbao bado nyinyi mnaweza amna amfai kwa bia anybody uh, just wanafunga bila kwa bia mtu uh, this is sweet this is sweet this is sweet
Mm. Now that's it. Mm. <laughs> Listen to this. Master Queen usisikie hiyo. Sa. <laughs> Anasema namna gani? Mnafanya kile mnataka. So wakati unafunga, kuna mambo huwezi kunafanya na umefunga. That's it. Then <laughs> <laughs> I understand, eh? <laughs> but then the second one happened. I know that sometimes when I talk to you, maybe you don't want to talk to me. Sometimes you don't want to talk to me. Si you don't want to talk to me. If you don't want to talk to me, you don't want to talk to me. You don't want to talk kwa sababu still haufai kuharibu kuharibu doa yako that that one is very important if acha okoka na understand haya mambo understand wana kama understand na italeta vita eh? so kile moto utafanya tu hiyo area tu sema kwa bus au the fast hiyo area ale so yet on the day of your fasting you do as you please mhm mm I'm a married man also here. I'll be fasting. I'll be fasting. <laughs> First Corinthians chapter number 7 nasema kwamba time ya maombi to do manufaa tu. Nini? Msikizane time ya maombi. But kuna watu wengine wanafa you need a lot of wisdom. It does not mean ya kwamba Mungu hata juu maombi yako kwa sababu uh, bwana kwa hizi understand. Yeah, bado Mungu atajibu na utasema kwamba pastor mimi niona kwamba sita fast kwa sababu hii No 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 no. Si kuna watu ambao watapapa si kwamba wataenda dry. Where and good kuna watu ambao papa si watapapa si kwamba pastor mimi nitakuwa nakunywa maji tu. Where and good. Kuna watu ambao wanakuwa wanafanya kazi kubwa watakuwa nakunywa chai. Well and good. Kuna tobo wata sema kwa pasta pana. Mimi tu ntakuwa tuna liquid tu. Huh? <laughs> so tafadhaya, look at this. This is very important. Peter Moro. <laughs> Can you hear this? You have today and tomorrow. So on Monday. So anyway, like what's that one? Let's talk about coming now. Iri, about the movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. By the way, to come alize to go to go to go angalia those types of fasting. Iri, angalia ni tapgani unatukua. Iri type two tatukua. Kuligana iri grace. Kuna watu graced tofauti sana mambo ya fasting. And that's when niweka kwanza 3 kwa sababu singeweka 7 kwa sababu kuna watu wao zifika 7. Hmm? Kuna mtu baada ya hata skip meals by the way ni fasting na imekubalika mpaka kwa Bible na ina nguvu. Hmm? Very important. Kuna watu wao nasema kwamba nita skip meals nitakula tu kidogo tu jioni. Lunch is takura. Na tena uskure ati usiku chakura mingi. Uko kwa fasting, you understand? If me skip meal, maybe ni lunch. Kidogo tu kakidogo tu kidogo tu nini usiku. Kuna gide tu wanakunywa tu. Wanasema kwa ba ni indiriku di tu wanakunywa. Angalia sasa hapa. Angalia verse number four. Verse number four. Your fasting aids in quarreling and strife. Imagine. Mungu anambia wana Israeli ya kwamba wakati wanafunga, wakati wanamalizia, fasting yao wana quarrel na wana strife. Maana akufai kuwa kuna quarrel na kustrive. Na sio nasema kwamba ni vyema ifunua mambo na kusikizana kwa nyumba, msikizane. Eh? Huh? Just when you can hear this. Maana kwa nasema kwamba Mungu anasema kwamba fasting yao inamalizia na kukuoro na kustrive. That's why nasema kwamba hajibu hiyo hiyo fasting yao. Wana oppress wale wengine, kufinyilia wale wengine. Mhm, mm angalia hapa. 
and in strike and in striking each other with wicked fist. Imagine. You cannot fast as you do today and expect your voice to be heard on high. Hmm? <laughs> ni vima sana kuunderstand. Bina sema kamba inasema kwamba ni vibaya sana you can fast as you do today. Anauliza mnaweza fast hivyo alafu mjibiwe hauwezi jibiwa. Mnakuja mnakuoro mnaweza kupigana na uko fast. Hakuna mambo kama haya atajibiwa. Wakati mnakuoro mnapigana na uko fast alafu mnapigana. Hiyo hakuna mambo kama hayo. <laughs> ni Mungu anasema. Angalia nao verse 5. Anasema kwamba is this is this the kind of fast I have chosen? In fasting ambao, muka nauliza swari. Is this the kind of fast I have chosen? Only a day for a man to humble himself. It is only for a boy, a boy in one's head like a reed. And for lying on sackcloth and ashes. Is that what you call a fast? A day acceptable of the Lord? So muka nauliza kwa iyo fasting yenu ni baya. Fasting yenu hiyo ni mbaya. So now kuanzia verse number 6. Kuanzia verse number 6 now. Mungu wanaelezea ila fasting huwa napenda. Is this not the kind of fasting I have chosen? Nasuma hii diyo fasting mbo nitagua. Mungu wanaelezea ila fasting anafreishwa nayo. Na naerezea ni fasti gani? Angalia. To lose the chains of injust. And to untie the cords of the yoke. To set the oppressed free and break every yoke. So nataka sa unitage. Sa kwanzia nao verse number 6 downward. Kuna mamboya metajwa pale. Benefits the fastings metajwa mahali pale. And number one, number one, is deliverance and freedom. Deliverance and freedom. Number one is deliverance and freedom. That's when I spoke about to lose the boats of wickedness, to undo the heavy burdens, and to lose oppressed, and to let the oppressed go free, and that you Break every yoke. Imagine. So anasema kwa number one. In the first thing mungu na fresh on ayo. Nile in a deliverance and a freedom. So benefit ya kwanza. In a patikana kwa mtu amba me fast. It is deliverance and freedom. From any burden za kshetani. Any burden ya kshetani ba na disappear. Oppression zote zina disappear. So benefit number one. It is deliverance and freedom. To meet at the And I brief personally. Yakwamba. I am mambo dio baba tatenda. If you don't skiza. Na kuna ili na freedom or deliverance. Mikuna mambo ya mekufinyiria. Kuna issues ya mekukaria. Kuna mapipo ya mefinyiria your life. Kuna issues ya mefinyiria ndua yako. Benefit ya kwanza na mini tatendeka. Toast three days. It is number one, deliverance and freedom. Deliverance and freedom. That's the point number one. That's the benefit number one. Na mine kubi tatendeka kwako. And may you start receiving it in Jesus' mighty name. Deliverance and freedom. Number two, illumination and revelation. Illumination and revelation. Illumination and revelation. Angali vide bobo nasema, kwa yu vatu kuyadero kusoma hapo tini. Angali ya. Angaria, verse number 8. Verse number 8. Then your right shall break forth like the morning. Then your right. So, kifunga, nadia boy na far. Bide sama na gani. Then your right. Your right shall break forth like morning. So, benefit number 2 is illumination and revelation. Fasting in a position your heart. To receive revelation and spiritual illumination. Listen to this. First in a position to receive revelations and spiritual illumination. Yeah. 
very important unaweza kupiga revelation zingine unaweza anza kuona mpaka maono mabana kupea hata mambo unaweza kuona sana mambo ya kiroho unaanza kuona sana mambo ya kiroho mambo hauko unaelewa unaanza kuielewa unaanza kuota mpaka ndoto hauko unaota maneke number 2 kitu ambacho kinapatikana is illumination and revelation unapata revelations na spiritual illumination that's point number 2 point number 2 Point number two. Point number three. Point number three. Benefit number three. Abona mini komba. After fasting was here Monday. Nimesema number one. It is deliverance and freedom. Number one. Number two. Nimesema it is illumination and revelation. Number three. Again in the next verse. Hapo chini. Nimesema magani. Then you are hearing shall spring for the speedily so number 3 is hearing number 3 is hearing angalia next hiyo tu verse iko mahali pale angalia iko pale tu tuko verse number 8 verse number 8 isaiah 58 verse number 8 nimesema number 1 benefit deliverance and freedom number 2 illumination and the revelation number 3 is hearing then your hearing shall spring for the speedily 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 now so kuna breakthrough ya physical hearing if mwili wako umesumburwa na cancer umesumburwa na ulcers umesumburwa na asthma wakati unafuga mimi nasema kwamba uponyaji wako unakuja kwa haraka una manifest kwa haraka speedily now kwa haraka no delay magojo na disappear unapokea your hearing kwa haraka Imagine. Magojo bomo mekukalia for so long. Yamekalia your family for so long. Yamekalia hata bwanako for so long. Hearing is another benefit of fasting. Hearing is another benefit of fasting. Number four. Number four. Number four. It is righteousness. Righteousness. Angalia hiyo video hiyo verse iko hapo inasema and your righteousness shall go before you. Righteousness. Unakuta kwamba if kuna tamaa zilikuwa zinakusumbua. If kuna video zilikuwa zinakusumbua mwili unasikia kwamba mwili unataka unakakiwe. Unaweza sikia kale kakiko anakuja hapo. Sikia kwamba mwili unataka eh unasikia kwamba pombe unataka una kiu ya pombe. You see now. Ule utakatifu nao. Utakatifu wako. Unaonekana utakatifu na kuongoza. Na mambo si is your righteousness shall go before you. Hautaongozwa na tamaza mwili tena. Hautaongozwa na mwili. Hautaongozwa na mwazo mabaya. Unaongozwa na righteousness. Righteousness. That's why Bible says kwamba your righteousness shall go before you shall go before you number 5 number 5 divine protection divine protection ani mababa na mimi Jehovah God for these three days tukiomba na kufunga yanaonekana number 5 is divine protection mm. Angalia vile boy nasema the glory of the Lord shall be your real god. Utukufu wa Mungu utakurida. Mimi one glory 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 the glory of God inakurida sasa. Unapata divine protection in your family divine protection when you're doing business. <laughs> divine protection wakati unasafiri you have divine protection wakati kuna wachai wanakufuata you have divine protection that's it by the way nitakusomea kwa kuna verse iko pale unaweza soma mm, i like it ukisoma bible kuna time Ezra kwa barabara aliyo alifunga na kaomba ili walidi uko barabara wakati uko unasafiri kurudi mpaka pale Jerusalem they were protected kwa barabara number 6 Ah, answered prayers. 
Answers to prayers. Answers to prayers. Number six, answers to prayers. Number six, answers to prayers. Answers to prayers. Answers to prayers. Answers to prayers. Mm. Answers to prayers. Then you shall call and the Lord will answer. You shall cry and he will say, Here I am. Mm. They shall call. They shall call. They shall call. And the Lord will answer. You shall cry. And who say? And he will say, Here I am. Answers to prayers. Maumbi yako ya najibiwa. Sijui sara na kesa ni maombi gani? Kafra jukuna sijui ni maombi gani uko nayo. But first inafanya maombi yale. Ili jibu na manifest kwako. Have a great imagine. So you have answers to prayer. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven is divine guidance. Divine guidance. Divine guidance. Mugu wana kuguide kwa mambo yako. Angali video boi nasema, the Lord will guide you continually. Tuko pala Isaiah 58. The Lord will guide you continually. The Lord will guide you continually. The Lord will guide you continually. So after fasting, mugu wana guide wewe. Kwa mambo yako, anakuguide. Hmm. My good God, may God guide you continually. Divine guidance. See you see Kumoja continually. Continually. Very important. Number seven is divine guidance. Now listen to me. I know Baba Mona Tangaza Komba, yet a manifest kwetu. After fasting, yes, and a manifest quote after fasting. Ari mambo mo na minya kumba yena tendeka kwetu after fasting. Number eight, strength. You receive strength. Strength. You receive strength. I give you when I say kumba and strengthen your bones. And strengthen your bones. So fasting in a strengthen your bones. If ata kuna mifupa in issues. Ile magonjwa magonjwa na kamata mifupa. Unapewa strength kwa mifupa yako. Mm. Imagine. Ah. Shakora baganda. Number eight is strength. That's why pala is there 15. And strengthen your bones. Unapokea nguvu kwa mwili wako. Nguvu kwa mwili wako. If kuna part ina nguvu, if kuna nguvu na itaji, unapewa strength kwa mwili wako. That's it. Nguvu kwa mwili wako. Number nine. Number nine. Pro divine provision. Divine provision. Divine provision. You're being provided for. Divine provision. Divine provision. Fasting in a letter. Divine provision. Divine provision. Those people say, and satisfy your soul in drought. At wakati kuna drought, wakati kuna da, you're being satisfied. You shall be like a watered garden, a spring of water. Whose waters does not fail. That's divine provision. Divine provision. Mm. Number nine is divine provision. A divine provision. That's number nine. Divine provision. That's number nine. Divine provision. Number ten. Restoration. Restoration. Number 10, 
restoration 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 Number 10 is restoration. Angalia. Those from whom among you shall build the old waste places. And you shall, shall be called the repairer of the breach and the storer of the streets to dwell in. Meaning, there is a restoration through fasting. A restoration. Kine kime potea. Baba na restore. Baba na restore. Baba na restore. Number 11. Promotion. Number 11 is promotion. 11 is promotion. My 11 is promotion. Number 11 is promotion. That's what the Bible says. Then you shall delight yourself in the Lord. Then you shall delight yourself in the Lord. And I will cause you to ride on high heels. Of the other and feed you with the heritage. Promotion. Woo! Ah, baraka. So, I had a mabo to go to Tukia Tangaza Kida Siku, Tukia Ombea. Promotion. And the last one is possession or inheritance. Possession or inheritance. Feed you with the heritage of Jacob, your father. Possession or inheritance. Baba na kupea possession. Anza ku possess. Una possess. Una inherit what belongs to you. Inheritance through fasting. Inheritance through fasting. Those are the two benefits. Ambazo na mine kwamba. After fasting. Zino nekana kwetu. Are we together now? Are we together now? <laughs> so those are the 12 benefits na mimi nakoba zinatendeka kwetu after fasting nikimalizia waje nisema kwamba aina ine za fasting ili utagui ile bodi nataka kufunga Jamimu wachina nasema kubo tuko pamoja, doroka nasema kubo muno, tuko pamoja kabisa. Uh, Firis nasema oke, okay. <laughs> ya tutu nasema haridhuya. I know kila mtu wa meandasa those two of benefits. No, thank you, kuna watu mbo wamefanya kazi ya ziada hapa. Akina magijoroge, akina masikwina. Nimaona watu wengi sana wamefanya kazi hapa mzuri, kafura ni niju kuna. Wameadikia watu wengine, hili mtu wa mbaeta kuja kusoma. Eh? Ah. So each and every time we are praying. Uskose kutaja haya mambo when you're praying. Include haya mambo kwenye listi yako ya mahitaji. Toko tunayatangaza daily Monday, Tuesday tunayatangaza na no wenes tukikula holy communion tunayadikrea. I believe kuna makubwa tatendeka katika jina Rais Kristo. No aina ine ni malize na azo. Kuna fasting aina ine now. There's what we call absolute fast. Absolute fast is abstaining from food and water. Absolute fast nida muna ita dry. Nakuta kwamba hauta kunywa maji. Na hauta kura kitu. Iyo ni moja. Absolute fast. Unaiza choose kwanzia Monday. And I've been kuna tobota za tomorrow. Maybe. Watu wa mbomu kwa US, praise God. Unuti wa wako, wako nyuma nini? Eight hours or ten hours. Niyabiyo kuligana na state. So, unaza decide ya kubo, unaza start maybe dioni tomorrow, unaza start asubui decision. But on Wednesday usiku, sasa usiku wa huku nao, tunamalizia that time, kabisa. So, unaiza chagu, sema kubo, unaenda hiyo, absolute fast. Hakuna kunyo maji, hakuna kukura. Iyo ni moja. Number two, kuna normal fast, or oh, regular fast. It's going without food, but unakunyo maji. That's it. 
tunaita regular or normal fast unakunywa maji bata hukuri sasa hiyo ni ingine hiyo ni ingine so mimi sasa ni absolute fast that's number one. hakuna kukula na kukunywa maji kuna regular fast or normal fast is going without food but you're taking water number three is partial fast partial fast ndio tunaita done your fast ni abstain from taste foods or eat only vegetables or not unakula tu vegetables yeah unakula tu vegetables in pasio na kula tu vegetables tu tu, tu, tu vegetables tu hivyo kidogo tu so then the last one is liquid fast is going without solid food but you are drinking only liquid kuna unaweza kuwa mtu ambaye anasema kwamba anakunywa fruit juice na kunywa nini ana yani yeye anasema kwamba nao anakunywa mtu anasema kwamba anakunywa chai vinywaji hana problem na vinywaji that's it na si unaweza decide ya kwamba uh, wewe uta, utafunga tu lunch jioni utachukula uta chakula tu kidogo si mingi kidogo uko fasting still kiasi if unakuligana ile job na mahali una safari unaenda unaendelea na job so nimesema na bwana is absolute fast hiyo ni hauna maji hauna chakula regular fast ni kwamba hauna chakula but una maji tu maji tu nao kuna partial fast hiyo unasema una abstain from tasty foods unakula tu vegetables na nut ni partial nao but kuna liquid fast Liquid fast and going without solid food but you are drinking only liquids. Liquids like fruit juice, hizo sasa ni mambo kama unakuta kwamba unakunywa chai. Hiyo sasa liquid fast. So there are four types. Siku hivi unaweza chagua uh, ni gani? <laughs> <laughs> so those those are four types of fasting. Unaweza chagua kwamba ni gani? Kwa hivyo Monday wakati tuna take time ya kufast. Chagua moja hapo. Maybe ni hiyo ya hautakula na hautakunywa dry or absolute. Unasema kwamba ni normal wewe mwenyewe uta umechagua gani? Wewe uta take normal. Unaangalia hapo nao. Ni maji tu unakunywa tu maji. Bora unaweza unaweza kuwa ni liquid fast. Au una problem unakunywa chai, kulingana na kazi yako unakunywa chai tu, but hakuna kukura ni chai tu ni liquid. Nini? Bora kuna hii gine ah uh, now. Hiyo ni vegetables na nuts. Vegetables na nuts. So, it is you. No 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 unaweza chagua hiyo ni huyo ni Daniel alikuwa amechagua kwenda 21 days ni yake alikuwa amechagua kwenda 21 days but wewe mwenyewe na wewe unaweza chukua unaweza sema kama si uzibless na yeye amechukua kama alichukua like that That's it So now from now no kuanzia tomorrow kuanzia tomorrow kuanzia tomorrow uh June na sema kama now you have to start By the way, bora bora usijue kwamba you are fasting kwa sababu kile Mungu anaangalia sana ni heart yako. That's one, heart yako. Then unajua kwamba mwili wako na ufinyilia. Mwili wako na ufinyilia. Although nitaendelea kuongea mambo ya fasting sana. Hii ni hii ni part 1. Kuna part 2, part 3, part 4. Hii ni part 1. Hii ni part 1. Tumeangalia. So ni vyema sana hata if, if nakula kachakula kidogo, unasema kwamba 
umeskip meal maybe umeskip kama ya lunch or supper if lunch unakula kula kitu kadogo kama ile kadogo kadogo tu just that uskule tena usema kwa but mimi ni lunch na skip i love jioni ule hilo kiugari kikubwa na una fast hello how now <laughs> uh, how now haita igiana haita igiana haita igiana hmm? Ya baada kuna mtu ambaye anaweza chagua kwamba ya kwamba kuna mtu ambaye anachagua kwamba atenda 66. Maana kuna watu ambao sasa imagine kuna watu ambao wanasema kwa that's why atuweke kwa matter from 6 to 6. Like that. 6 to 6. Kuna watu ambao anaenda 6 to 6 kusema kwamba uh, ni 6 to 6. Ah uh, hiyo hapo ni kama ku skip meal tu moja milo moja but hii ya jioni sti kwa sababu si ni in hizi squad tunafunga nika kitu kadogo tu kitu tu kadogo kwa kuendelea yeah so is good to understand wakati unafunga ni vyema sana ujue kwamba si kufunga tu very important take time of prayer ni vyema sana uwe na time mpaka kuomba and to read the word of god but sasa hata reading the word of god na bahati sana kwa sababu kila jioni mhm jioni tuko hapa tunasoma neno la bwana kwa hivyo na bahati na bali still ni vyema sana kuwa na time yako ya kuomba kwa sababu una mahitaji take your time defeat it omba Aruko pale kazini si lazima tu ufunga macho tu uombe. No 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 no. Unaweza omba mpaka kimoyo moyo. Unaweza kuwa maybe unaenda kazi yako na unaomba mpaka kimoyo moyo if hauna time ya tunaweza kuwa na time fulani unaweza omba. Omba mpaka kimoyo moyo. Omba. Unaweza kuwa unafanya kazi yako na unaomba. Si lazima tu uombe. Hapa 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 si lazima uombe hiyo. Hiyo na si dhabi kuomba hiyo kwa sababu naipenda sana. Naipenda sana. Is good one sana. Yeah. Baada kuna watu wabana sema kwamba atateke tu breakfast, breakfast, breakfast. No problem. Mm, ni vile tu ufai dinner with kunya nini? <laughs> eh, eh, eh ni msakiba ni kama hivyo kama tunudus by the way kidogo tu kitu kadogo tu eh? Vale kuna tomo by the way yeah i understand i understand kuna <laughs> Yes I understand. So mtu if if una mtu ambaye uh, hajafunga, yes, you understand that eh? Unaweza sema kwamba at least usiku unaweza take meal by the way. Lakini tena si mingi. Au take meal for prayer kwa ajili ya maombi ya usiku. Ajili ya maombi ya usiku. But lazima kuna time ya kuomba time ya kusoma neno la Bwana, time ya kusikiza kutoka kwa Bwana. Maana ki believe kuna watu karama zao zitafunguka. Mm, na na wacha vitu mingi za ku, kuandika tu vitu nini tu vitu fane fane kwa Facebook at first well, first and me why don't you those days a preach eh? Eh? <laughs> yes but you can do still 66 no problem You can still do 6 to 6 there's no problem. No command to go Tuesday to normalize Wednesday the only tunakuwa na holy communion. Tunamalizia na holy communion. Tunamalizia na holy communion on Wednesday the only. Tunamalizia na holy communion. Wednesday the only tunamalizia na holy communion. Yeah. That's it sababu grace haifanani kuna mtu bwana asikia 626 no problem ako tu sawa na bado Mungu bado atamjibu ah uh, if kuna mtu bwana if kuna mtu bwana ni mkojo still kuna kitu kidogo anaweza kuwa na kuna kitu kidogo na bado anaendelea na kufunga sasa hivi believe kwamba si kila kitu unaweza sema kwamba tutagojeka kila kitu ah unaweza kula tu kidogo tu cha kula kidogo na bado anaendelea na kufunga yes kwanza hayo magojo if you are sick hayo ndio tunataka ku denial ndio tunataka ku denial those magojo hayo yote wendeze tunaamini kwa baba na ile hayo magojo yote yeah mm. so kuna mtu mwingine bana swali tunapo 
<laughs> na ifu mwanako hawezi understand ile ingine tafadhali. Musibishane, musibishane. Musibishane. Bado uko fasting na bado mnaomba pamoja. You still worshiping God together na nini? Hmm. So hapa ni kujitaguria Mr. Kinisete atisema nisema kwamba uenda dry kwa sababu we are not graced the same. Kuna watu ambao tutaenda dry. Kuna watu ambao tutaenda normal. Kuna watu ambao so chagua moja if ni six to six is no problem. If ni ni maji na kunywa, if ni chai tu, if ni quick no problem. Bora umwe kwamba ume fast. On Wednesday no break. Aya mabona na manager wangu yandike mahali kwa kalatasi, wacha tu yaombe to manager wangu kwa bana tena na nafanya makubwa. But it's still trying to get my fast in a prayer. This is part one. Kuomba kuna ligana, but at least tenga tangu ya kuomba. Kuna mtu wabaya na sasema kuomba, unajua if, for example, kama Masa Queen hapa, and I saw the whole night, you see now. But who is yambia watu wengine hapa, waomba the whole night. Wata kimbizu, wata fukuzu wako nyumba. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Hatuna watu kuenda nini? 5th na 6th na 8th. Kuna watches hazina watu. Kuna second, second na fifth. Thank you, thank you. Fifth, thank you. I guess for fifth one. Yes, we need God bless for sixth one. Uh, third watch first. Thank you, thank you. Uh, six p.m. in the fourth watch. In the fourth watch. Three p.m. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, three p.m. to six p.m. the eighth watch. In the mission. What your mission here? Alpha grid here in the eighth watch. Fourth watch. Thank you, faith. Yes, yeah. It is there. Six, six to Satatu. Three M. Ah, kuna watu mo ako hapo wa three to six. E E ni for the watch. E ni for the watch. Ah, Alpha Grid. E ni for the watch. Six to six to nine. Six M to nine M. E ni for the watch. Yeah, na six watch. Thank you, thank you. Then kuna watu mo tasi ya pata mtu. Saa sita mtu ana paka saa tisa. Seventh watch. Oh, thank you, Dr. Dongo Seven. Thank you, thank you. Seventh watch. Wacha tupata watu wakini wa seventh watch. Ni saa sita mchana mpaka saa... Saa tisa. Wacha tuone. Evangelist Michael, where are you? Kwani umeenda wapi? Sema watu yako hapa na buru. Amuke, amuke ni tafadhari. Thank you, thank you, Anoidhaka. Thank you. Ya kuna third and seven, thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for the for the either watch. Thank you. Tafadhali buru ni tafutue buru. Oh yeah yeah, Ferris James anasema kwa sababu ni watch akosawa. Yeah. Hiyo ni saa 6 mpaka saa 9. Hiyo ni 7th watch. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Mimi niko karibu zote. Mimi niko karibu zote kwa sababu nitadi na zote. Nitakuwa anga nikitakuwa anga na irida kwa kila watch. Ntakuwa na reader anga kwa kila watch. Ntakuwa na reader anga kwa kila watch. But then number 10 on the YouTube tuna kuanga chat the whole day. So, nitakuwa na angalia watch hizo sana. 7, thank you, thank you. 7, watu wamepata. 8, watu tuna watu wakadha. Wacha tuongeze watu wawidi wa 8, watu. Wacha tuongeze 6, 9, saa 9, mpaka saa 6. Yeah, 3 p.m. mpaka 6. Oh, thank you, Sarah Nekesa, thank you. Uh, 3 p.m. paka 6 p.m. Hey, thank you, thank you. Risk again, thank you. Uh, Nims, thank you. Seventh watch. Thank you. No, he, he, uh, he, he, sixth watch. Rugusa, he, he, sixth watch. Nine. Yeah, he, sixth. Julia, thank you. Karimi, ni kuna watu wa eighth. Yeah, I know wako bazi mekua sawa sawa. Nigani, gine, yeah, kila watch. Iko sawa. Mi, itakua na, ni kama hile. Anetacheza kaa na bait. Na baiti ya anaida kina mahali anda first watch, second watch. Yeah, Josephine Jerry, Jamie Mwasira, thank you, thank you. Na bado still on Monday, tutangalia bado mpaka those watches. Kana kwa ba mtu wako na watch yake ya mayomba yu watch. At least ikuwe ni chain. Tunaomba. Yeah. Gichohi, thank you, Russo, nasema kwa ba second watch. Second watch ni ili ya 9 a.m. to... Ya, 9 p.m. 9 p.m. to 12. And PM, thank you, thank you, wow. And Kanyari, thank you for that watch. So, mungu wa mariksana, mungu wa mwanekaniye, kwa mba mwifuata. Let's believe God, God is going to grace us. Na tomalizia vizuri sana. Na hayo mabokumi na mawili na hayo maitaji kwa na hayo baba ratenda. Thank you. Let's believe God together and we pray. Baba katika jina takatifu rabana isukurisi wa sani mba kwa naima yako. Asa manake baba umetu naimesha. Na tumedhiyerimisho mabwa ya maumbi na kufunga. Tunapu wanzia kufunga kwa wanzia madi fada. Tunajua kwa mba watu wengi sana tafunguriwa. Hayo mabokuna mawili tumeasoma. Yanaonekana kufamilia zetu, kwa ndoa zetu, kwa watoto wetu buwana. Miujizi yonekane, mawajabu yonekane. Baba na emesha hawa watu. Asana manaka umetubariki mungu na umetunenea. Na utazini kutunenea kwa jia ki miujizi buwana. Awa watu wabariki waride buwana. Awa tafoto na magojo na madhabu mbaya. Ushidu wako uko diyo mesheo. Asana Jehova kwa mwano umetedo na umefanya. Kadiga jina reso kuriso. Tumbe mwana hata kwa mini. Amen. Jua deo nataka kuwa kwa sema mungu. Katika jina reso kuriso. Nimekiri kwa kinyo tangu. Owe ni buwana. Na nimeamini kwa moyo wangu. Ufufuwa wako. Asani mungu kuniyokoa. 
na kunifanya kiume kipya katika jina la Kristo na mimi nimeokoka fada wale wameokoka wadumishe kwa neema bwana watendaye makubwa na maajabu milango yafungukie na imetangaza ushindi katika jina la Yesu Kristo na bwana kuamini amen amen so god bless you so much mungu muonekanie uh, let's go to the praying tomorrow i have just a powerful powerful someone tomorrow the nine keys of divine wealth transfer tomorrow na ongea about wealth transfer understanding be very cool wealth transfer be very cool wealth transfer be very cool wealth transfer nitaangalia types four types of wealth transfer uh then niangalia the, the nine keys as a wealth transfer nine keys of wealth transfer four types of wealth transfer and then four dimensions of wealth transfer so tomorrow naongea four dimensions of wealth transfer the the nine keys of of wealth transfer and uh, four types of wealth transfer don't miss tomorrow saa 3 mpaka saa 4 na nusu saa 5 mpaka saa 6 na nusu what on facebook tokoa facebook live what on youtube tokoa youtube live god bless you i love you all nyinyi wana maajabu sana So my number is 0726511792 0726511792 God bless you God bless you Ah faith wa mbogo God bless you sana <laughs> Ah ani wa boy wacha nisome mbili tu alafu nifunge Sara Karen Linet Akinyi Magi Joroge thank you mkuu pamoja na Asia Bida God bless you Mungu abarik sana. Mungu muonekanie we meet. What about kutana tomorrow meet tomorrow what about Monday Monday. Don't forget to kutana Monday fasting to kwa ride imeanza. Tuko tumeendelea ku fast na tuko naomba na Mungu abarik sana. Shalom. Evangelist Mike au kutukua watch. Mko na Evangelist Steven na mko na Boru. Hamja tukua watch hata moja sijaona. Eh? Ara sijaona nani? Eh? 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 <laughs> Kuna watu ambao hapo Felix umechukua watu gani? Eh, mkoa na Ben Kim eh, na Maondo. <laughs> Sijaona ila watu umechukua nini? Umechukua gani sasa? Na Getao wa Steve, eh, wawe tayari. Sijaona ila watu umechukua. Kuna watu ambao wamejificha tukianza kuchukua watches. <laughs> Mande tuangalie kila mtu kwa watu gani. Ta confirm at least. God bless you. Shalom.